Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So today we're going to do a trinket box. So I got these molds off of Amazon. They're for resin, but I've used them with my UltraCal 30. Um, and uh, the only advice I have if you decide to do this is to make sure you get the air bubbles out from the lip of the lid because it will leave uh, air bubble holes and then you got to go back and fix them up or you can just leave them alone and say that it's rustic. I, it's up to you. Um, but all I used was one of my dotting tools, one of the small ones, and uh, I was able to scrape the bubbles out with that. So that's something to use and to try if you're going to do it. Um, so I decided I really like the purples and the pinks of uh, paints that I have in my stash so I wanted to do a dot mandala and what better thing to do a dotted mandala on than a trinket box I mean really like it's really pretty you can set it on your uh, desk or on your dresser or nightstand wherever you want to put it and you can put whatever you want in it so that's what I wanted this for I had the idea for this so um, I started off with a dark purple and then I went around it with white dots with a, a very small dotting tool and then I used a lighter purple um, and did one dot on each guideline so I drew the guidelines on using my uh, silicone uh, dome that I got from the happy dotting company and I just put little tick marks on it and then I used um, my uh, seamstress measuring tape uh, to do the rest so uh, that's how I got my my uh, guidelines so after I put those lighter purple dots on I have a medium tone purple that I put in between each of those so it ends up being inside the pie shape and now what I'm doing is I'm taking a uh, nail stylist uh, and putting in smaller uh, white dots because I want to try to hide as much of that negative space as possible um, and by putting in little extra tiny dots or micro dots helps uh, draw your eye out from the center dot out uh, to the design uh, so now I'm going in and I'm doing some purple dots oh no those aren't purple those are pink so I did some pink dots and now I'm going back in with the dark purple again and putting that single dot in between so that it sort of covers up that negative space. Now all the colors that I use are listed in the description below. Um, they're listed by brand name and then their actual name because each brand has their own kind of naming system for the colors. Um, so uh, they're all listed in the description below. If you don't like blue, and, or sorry, if you don't like pink and purple, you can do blue and yellow. You can do maybe some blues and greens or teals. Um, do it all one color, but different shades. Just continue to add white to your um, main color and uh, you, you'll end up with a wonderful design. So now what I'm doing, I put on the big pink dots uh, and then I'm just adding a little bit of the light purple uh, in between. Uh, just again, like I said, to draw your eye out to uh, the edge of the design. So the really neat thing about doing a trinket box, you're not just limited to the top of the box for your design. You can carry it through onto the side of the box. I know I keep saying box, it's a circle, but you know what I mean. It's a trinket box. Um, so that's what I do. So I will be showing you what I do on the side of the uh, trinket box uh, once I finish the top of the design. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm doing uh, reverse walk the dots. So I start with my bigger dot at the top and then I work my way down around the big uh, pink dot. And what that does is it opens up a little area for me to do these little swoops, I guess, or teardrops. Um, I don't know what the technical name is for these kinds of dots or any of them actually, but um, it's how I describe them. They're like little swoops or, or teardrops. So I put those in the middle um, of the uh, reverse walk dots that I did and 
uh, it just sort of finishes off the entire design. I'm very pleased with it too. Let me know if you like it by giving me the thumbs up. And if you really like my videos, please subscribe. And if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you hit that bell because it'll give you a notification every time I post something new. I just want to mention as well that the guidelines that I put onto the top and that I will put onto the side of this trinket box, I used uh, the General's charcoal pencil because I find that after it's completely dry, I can just use a damp rag and I can wipe that off because you really don't want it left there for when you resin it because it just, you'll see all those lines in between the dots and you don't want to see those. So now what I'm doing, um, it's almost completely dry. You can see that that top dot, or sorry, the center dot is still kind of wet, but the rest of them are dry. So I'm going in and I'm doing some top dots. So again, using the same color palette, I'm not adding any new colors and I'm just sort of lightening up the darker ones and darkening up the lighter ones. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, uh, putting a top dot on so that on the dark ones, like I just did on those pink ones, it has like a small ring. It looks like it ends up having a small ring around the lighter color. So, and that's what I was going for. It gives it a three dimensional kind of look and that's what I really wanted. So now I've got to add some sparkle to this. So I'm using metallic paints and I'm putting uh, the pink on there with metallic paint and I do use a metallic purple. So um, now that the center dot is dry enough that I can put on a top dot onto it and then I'm just going in with a really small dotting tool and putting in these really tiny microscopic kind of purple dots and with these ones I use the metallic purple. So I go around the entire edge uh, to sort of draw the purple out to the pink and it just brings your eye out to it. And I thought, let's finish it off with one little dot in between those white little swoops or teardrops because it just adds that little extra and breaks up the white. So here we are now onto the bottom or the jar part of the trinket box. So I drew my lines on and how I did this was with my uh, little turntable there, I put an eraser up against it and then I rest my charcoal pencil on the eraser and I just turned my turntable so I could uh, get the same uh, height of going around the circle. Uh, it works really well. Um, if you want to do different heights, you just add another eraser or anything that is sturdy enough that will hold your pencil uh, still enough so that you can get these lines. Um, and then I just made uh, little tick marks from the top of the box so that it aligns properly. Um, and that's what I used for my guide for putting on those dark purple dots. So now I'm going in between and I'm doing the lighter purple dot. And if you've seen any, any of my other videos, you know that these tools that I'm using right now are um, my favorite. I, these are my go-to. I love them. Uh, there's, I think, 12 of them. Yeah, or six. There's six of them, but they have 12 sides. Does that make sense? Uh, so what I mean is they're double-ended. So um, I got them from the Dotting Center. I've left a link in the description below. If you want to get your own set of tools or anything else that she has in her Etsy shop, um, definitely go over, check it out. Uh, and I have a 10% discount code. So make sure that you use that and you can get these tool, tools as well. And she has tutorials on her um, YouTube channel that you can follow along and learn how to use these tools. So absolutely amazing. Love them that you get perfect dots every time. They're just awesome. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm putting in these little uh, swoops um, with white paint. So I put on a load of paint with my dotting stylus or dotting tool and I, I'll show you right here. So I put it on and then I, it's really thick. So then I take a, a dotting needle or a very small dotting tool 
and I just drag the paint down. Then I do one on either side and it will have a slight curve to it, but that's the look that I wanted. So you just drag it down and make it come as close as possible to the purple dot, but not all the way because you don't want it to, you want that sort of break. If you don't have the dotting tools that I'm using, that's okay. You don't need to have like a dotting needle or a very small dotting stylus to do this effect. You can use a toothpick or something that's uh, really, really small. Um, and if you don't have the dotting tools, I've seen people do dots with Q-tips. So it might be a different technique to try out, uh, see how it works. Um, but just because I'm using these tools doesn't mean that you have to. I'm sure that you can find whatever you can that's a circle around in your own home, just even in your junk drawer. Uh, the ends of pencils or um, uh, drill bits, things like that. They'll all give you the same kind of effect. So now what I'm doing is I'm adding in some little uh, light pink dots and I'm using the guideline that I drew on as my guide where I want these dots and keeps them centered and keeps them in line so you're not sort of doing a wavy line unless that's the effect you want um, but I, I wanted to try to keep it uh, as even as possible now I know I'm kind of off camera right now and you can't really see what I'm doing and I'm sorry about that sometimes I need it a little bit closer to me so that I can see what I'm doing and making sure that I'm getting it in the right spot so um, but then I have done all those and then I do one of my favorite techniques, which is walking the dots. So it's a really simple technique. And this is how you do it. So you load up your tool, put a dot down, and don't reload your tool. Just move it up around the dot that you're going around. So um, I'll show you again. So you dot and then walk up. And as you do that, the paint is coming off of your tool to make a smaller impression on your canvas or whatever medium you're using to paint on. And um, it they automatically get smaller. And it's because that you're not reloading your tool with paint. So there's a, a smaller amount that's being applied. So it's a very simple technique, easy to do. And uh, I love how the effect actually makes it look like lace or um, something really delicate and pretty and I just thought it was fitting for this kind of a, a trinket box so um, let me know in the comments below if uh, you like the trinket box and if you want to see more designs uh, I have four different um, shapes so one is the circle the one that I'm showing you now I also have a hexagon a square and a heart so uh, let me know if those are ones that you're interested in seeing and I can uh, do up uh, some tutorials on those. So let me know in the comments below and let me know color combinations maybe that you want to see. Uh, my favorite color is purple um, and so that's why I tend to go to that. So but let me know what you want to see and I'll, uh, I'll get on it and, and uh, do up some stuff for you guys. So um, what I did was I put on a pink dot on top of the two dots to give it like a triangle look. Um, and all I'm doing there is I'm trying to merge the two lines together. So I have the purple line and then I have the pink line. So the purple line has the white swipes that brings it down. And I needed something pink that brought it the pink line up into the purple. So that's why I did that. Then I did some top dots. Um, I did light purple on the dark purple dots and now I'm doing some of the metallic purple on the light dots that are just above the white swoops. So I do this all the way around and um, I didn't put any gems on this so there's no bling blings but I had to have a little bit of the sparkle. So now I'm just applying a little tiny dot or not tiny but it's a little bit smaller dot um, on top of that pyramid that we made or the triangle that we made and it's just to bring that pink line up further into the purple line but also to get rid of some of that negative space and then 
I thought, you know, I got to finish it off at the bottom with the same light pink and it just sort of finishes the whole project. So I do that all the way around and it looks fabulous. And then it's, uh, it's all finished and ready for um, a coat of resin. So remember folks, life is what you make it. So get creative. Mm -hmm.